Welcome back to our channel, the hub for history buffs and technology enthusiasts. In our last episode, we dived into the transformative world of the Industrial Revolution, focusing on Edmund Cartwright's power loom of 1785, a key innovation that revolutionized the textile industry. Today, we're shifting our gears to another remarkable invention that emerged just a year later, in 1786, the threshing machine by Andrew Meikle. Join us as we explore how this ingenious device dramatically changed the agricultural landscape by mechanizing the process of separating grain from stalks and husks. We'll delve into the story of Andrew Meikle, the challenges he faced, and the profound impact his invention had on farming practices. So, get ready to share some historical facts and insights on this groundbreaking development in agricultural technology. Andrew Meikle was born in 1719 in the small village of Salton, East Lothian, Scotland. Born into a family deeply rooted in engineering and innovation, Meikle's early life set the stage for his future accomplishments. His father, James Meikle, was a noted millwright, an occupation involving the design and construction of mills or mill machinery. This environment undoubtedly influenced young Andrew, exposing him to the world of mechanical engineering from an early age. Details about Meikle's formal education are scant, which was not uncommon for the time. However, it is well documented that he received extensive practical training from his father. This hands-on experience in millwright work and mechanical engineering was pivotal in shaping his skills and understanding of machinery. Little is known about Meikle's personal life, including his marital status or any children. The historical records primarily focus on his professional achievements and contributions to agricultural and mechanical technology. This lack of personal detail is typical of many historical figures from the 18th century, where personal life often remained undocumented. Before his invention, Andrew Meikle was engaged in various engineering projects, primarily focusing on millwright work. He worked extensively on improving the design and efficiency of windmills and watermills, a common necessity in the agricultural landscape of Scotland at that time. His work in mills laid the foundation for his understanding of mechanical processes and problem-solving skills. One of Meikle's notable pre-threshing machine inventions was a successful design for a windmill that could automatically adjust its sails to the wind strength. This innovation demonstrated his ability to observe a problem, in this case, the manual adjustment of sails, and create a mechanical solution to improve efficiency and safety. Meikle's involvement in agricultural machinery was a natural progression from his work with mills. Recognizing the inefficiencies and labor-intensive nature of grain threshing, he set out to devise a solution. His background in mechanical engineering, combined with his intimate knowledge of agricultural needs, uniquely positioned him to create the threshing machine, an invention that would revolutionize agricultural practices. Andrew Meikle's life, though shrouded in some historical ambiguity, clearly portrays a figure deeply immersed in the world of mechanical engineering and innovation. His upbringing in a millwright's family, combined with his hands-on experience and innate problem-solving skills, culminated in the invention of the threshing machine, a testament to his lasting impact on agricultural technology. Before Meikle's invention, threshing was a grueling and inefficient process. Laborers used flails to beat out the grains from harvested stalks, a method that was not only time-consuming but also inconsistent in yield. Meikle's threshing machine emerged as a solution to these challenges, showcasing the potential of mechanization in agriculture. Meikle's threshing machine was a marvel of engineering for its time, and its operation can be understood in several key steps. The process began with feeding sheaves of harvested grain into the machine. Workers would place these sheaves into a designated slot, where the threshing process would commence. The core of the machine was its rotating drum, equipped with beaters. As the drum spun, these beaters would strike against the sheaves with considerable force. The impact of these beaters was crucial. They needed to be strong enough to separate the grains but gentle enough not to damage them. The mechanical beating action detached the grains from the ear, with the stalks, straw, and other materials, like chaff, being separated in the process. This step was revolutionary, as it automated what was previously a tedious manual task. Once threshed, the mixture of grain, chaff, and straw was directed to a separation area. Here, a series of sieves and moving screens sorted the grain from the lighter chaff and straw. The sieves were designed with varying sizes to accommodate different types of grains. 
To further clean the grain, Meikle's machine often incorporated air blowers. These blowers would help in removing lighter particles and dust, ensuring that the collected grain was as pure as possible. Finally, the clean grain was funneled into a collection area, from where it could be bagged and stored. The efficiency of this process dramatically reduced the time and labor needed to process grain post-harvest. The introduction of the threshing machine in 1786 was met with a mixture of admiration and resistance. While the agricultural community recognized its potential to revolutionize grain processing, there was also apprehension about the displacement of manual labor. For Meikle, the invention brought both recognition and challenges. As a millwright and engineer, Meikle's invention showcased his ingenuity and deep understanding of agricultural needs. The threshing machine quickly gained attention, bringing Meikle into the spotlight of the agricultural and engineering world. However, the initial reception was not entirely positive. The introduction of mechanized farming equipment like the threshing machine was controversial. It sparked resistance among agricultural workers who feared job loss. In some instances, there were reports of threshing machines being destroyed by workers who viewed them as threats to their livelihood. This social upheaval was part of the broader tensions brought about by the Industrial Revolution. Despite these challenges, the efficiency and effectiveness of the threshing machine gradually led to its wider acceptance. Farmers recognized its potential to increase productivity and reduce labor costs, driving its adoption across Britain and eventually, internationally. In the years following his invention, Andrew Meikle continued to work on various engineering projects, but none matched the fame or impact of the threshing machine. His invention had set in motion a significant shift in agricultural practices, but the financial benefits to Meikle himself were not as substantial as one might expect. Historical records suggest that Meikle did not gain immense wealth from his invention. Patents were less robust in the 18th century, and enforcing them was challenging. However, his reputation as an inventor and engineer was solidified. Andrew Meikle lived a relatively long life for his era, passing away in 1811 at the age of 92. By the time of his death, his threshing machine had become a common sight in many farms, symbolizing the mechanization of agriculture. His legacy lived on not just through his invention, but also through his contributions to mill design and engineering. The threshing machine continued to evolve and laid the foundation for modern agricultural machinery. The immediate and most profound effect of Meikle's threshing machine was its transformative impact on agricultural practices. By mechanizing the process of separating grain from chaff and straw, it significantly increased efficiency and productivity. This mechanization allowed farmers to process larger quantities of grain in a shorter period, reducing the reliance on manual labor and contributing to higher yields and more efficient farming practices. Meikle's invention was a key component in the broader agricultural revolution, a period marked by significant changes in farming methods. The threshing machine epitomized the shift towards mechanization in agriculture, paving the way for other mechanical farming tools and methods. It demonstrated the potential benefits of applying technology to agriculture, encouraging further innovations and improvements in farming equipment and techniques. Beyond agriculture, the threshing machine inspired advancements in industrial machinery and mechanical design. Its principles of mechanical operation and efficiency resonated with inventors and engineers, influencing the design of other types of machinery. The use of rotating parts, conveyor systems, and separation mechanisms became more widespread in industrial designs. The introduction of Meikle's machine also had significant social and economic implications. On one hand, it contributed to the rural economy by increasing productivity and profitability. On the other hand, it led to a reduction in the demand for manual labor in agriculture, contributing to social changes and migrations toward urban centers and factory work. This shift was a part of the larger narrative of the Industrial Revolution, which radically altered the social and economic fabric of society. The threshing machine can be seen as a precursor to modern agricultural machinery. Its success and effectiveness inspired subsequent generations of inventors to develop new agricultural tools and machines, such as combine harvesters, which further streamlined farming operations. The principles of mechanical separation and automated processing seen in Meikle's invention are still fundamental in today's agricultural machinery.
In a broader environmental context, Meikle's invention contributed to changes in land use and farming scales. With increased efficiency, larger areas could be farmed, influencing agricultural landscapes and practices. This shift played a role in shaping modern agricultural methods and land management strategies. Andrew Meikle's threshing machine was not just a standalone invention, it was a catalyst for change and a source of inspiration across various fields. Its impact on agriculture, industrial design, and social structures underscores the profound influence that a single technological advancement can have. The legacy of Meikle's invention is reflected in the continuous evolution of agricultural machinery and the enduring quest for efficiency and innovation in technology. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the remarkable story of Andrew Meikle and his transformative threshing machine. This invention didn't just change the way we harvested grain, it revolutionized the agricultural world, setting the stage for the modern farming practices we see today. Meikle's legacy is a testament to the power of innovation and its ability to reshape our lives. But our exploration of groundbreaking inventions doesn't stop here. Join us in our next episode, where we'll delve into another fascinating creation that changed the course of transportation history. We'll be discussing the paddle steamer, invented in 1787 by John Fitch. This innovation advanced riverine and maritime transportation, marking a significant leap forward in how we navigated and utilized our waterways. So, stay tuned, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing dives into the inventions that have shaped our world. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.